This one's from at Vamila. <laughs> Sorry, I have a bee phobia. Hi, InStyle. I'm Camila Mendez, and I'm going to open some fan mail. So this one's from at the CW Riverdale cast. What a great handle. Do you remember a meeting with a fan that made you super emotional? Can you share? Yes. One time I met a fan on an airplane. I think we were both coming back from Brasilia, which is where my parents are from in Brazil. She and I were both headed back to LA and she came up to me when I was in line to get on the flight. And then we found out that we were sitting next to each other and we ended up talking for the entire, I don't know, eight hour flight, I can't remember how long it was, but she and I talked about how we both had body image issues and how she also struggled with an eating disorder and how I helped her, you know, accept herself. And she just, she expressed her appreciation for the things I've spoken about and shared her story and it was really emotional and she's still a friend so that, I, that I keep in touch with sometimes. What do you miss most about your hometown? Oh, I miss probably Kiara the most. My friend Kiara who lives in Miami, I miss her so much. And I wish I got to see her more than I actually do. The life we choose to live as actors, nomads. <laughs> this one is from Camila Mendez FR, which I'm guessing means France. How does it feel to film the supernatural elements of Riverdale? Is it challenging? Yes. Um, but in a fun way, I think I'd always hoped that one day we would dive into the supernatural because it just feels like something that Riverdale should do in its penultimate season. So that's been really fun. I think it makes sense in the comic book world of Riverdale to experiment with new genres. What can you tell us about Loop's beauty? Loop's beauty, I'm so excited you asked. The masks are so good. I use them all the time. For me, I'm somebody who's always struggled to find masks that fit on my face. With Loop's, it's like, it actually just sticks on your face so well. And you can like do laundry and talk on the phone and, and I don't know, you can do cartwheels if you want. You can literally do anything while wearing a Loop's mask. And on top of that, it's really good skincare. And the way that we weave it into a sort of daily skincare routine just makes it really convenient to use and very effective. Oh my God, this one's from At Do Revenge. We love to see it. How important is it to you to represent your culture as a Latina in the roles you portray in film and television? It's very important to me, not just that I am out there representing people, but also that I'm creating more opportunities for people, for other Latinas to get out there and have their name be known. My goal is to produce more and to create projects that do that. What is one lesson you've learned in the industry that you carry with you in your work? That nobody's gonna look after you except yourself. And you gotta look out for yourself, you gotta stand up for yourself. And if you have a problem, speak up. Just do it respectfully and with grace. That's it. This one is from at Cammy's M Closet. What was one of your fave pieces that you got to wear either in a show, TV, or the red carpet? Ooh, that's a tough one. I wore this insane necklace to the Vanity Fair Oscar party. I think it was Masika jewelry, and it was really expensive. <laughs> and, and beautiful, and I felt so glamorous wearing it. I think that was the first time I'd ever worn something like a really heavy set of jewelry. So I just felt very chic that night. Are there any upcoming projects that you are excited for fans to see? Yes, there are a couple. One of them, I cannot speak about. But the other one is Musica, which I'm doing for Amazon. And I'm really excited about that one because it showcases my Brazilian American culture um, and I speak Portuguese in it. I'm excited to be part of this project that is probably the only project that deals with Brazilian American culture. It feels like a big moment for the Brasileiros, you know, my people. What is some advice that you would give to younger Camila if you had the chance? If I could give advice to younger Camila, I'd say, he's not worth the tears, honey. <laughs> Move on, there's another one right around the corner. And if that one doesn't work, there's another one right around the corner, I promise. This one's from at Vamila. <laughs> Sorry. I have a bee phobia. This one's from at Vamila Archive. Since we are coming to the end of Riverdale, if you could write an ending for Veronica Lodge, what would you most like to see for her? I would like to see Veronica happy on her own and finding 
happiness and peace within herself and not involving herself with her dad's drama, not involving herself with men and their drama, but just learning how to be alone and to take ownership of that. That's what I hope happens in the end. But we shall see. I don't write the show. <laughs> this one's from at Affection Cami. Do you intend to visit Brazil in the near future? I do. I am planning to go there in October just to see my family, but I am planning a trip to Brazil. Well, thanks for having me in style. I hope you enjoyed watching me open all my fan mail.